man. What is going on, guys? I'm back with another episode of a TV movie podcast. And today I got for you Big Brother 26, episode 6. Last episode, we saw Matt get evicted. In this episode, we find out who is the new HOH. And before we get into that, there was a weird vote. Matt got three votes to stay. And people are wondering, who was the third vote? And we all know as viewers that Lisa was the third vote. But she's not going to tell anybody that because she doesn't want to be a target. So she's telling Chelsea that she didn't vote out Matt and all that. But Chelsea's not buying it. Chelsea describes Lisa as one of the women that were under Matt's armpits. And so she was one of the votes for Matt to stay. And those people are Matt, Leah, I mean, Leah, Lisa, and Mackenzie were those three ladies that were under Matt's armpits. So uh, that's how Chelsea described it, and I thought that was pretty funny. And realizing in hindsight, I think Angela did make the right decision on getting out Matt because Matt did have those girls wrapped around his fingers. They're crying about his absence, even though only one of those girls were in a showmance with Matt. The other two were, are crying, but they weren't in a showmance. So I found that kind of funny, but yeah. So yeah, we see that Mackenzie starting to realize that barbershop alliance wasn't really a real alliance because they all voted out Matt. So uh, yeah, she's realizing that all she really has is Leah. And uh, I don't think she considers Lisa an ally, but she does consider Leah her only ally in this game. So she's trying to gun for this HOH. And uh, we head to the HOH and we're down to three people. We're down to uh, to Core, Chelsea, and Leah. This is the second time Leah's made it to the final three spot in an HOH. So Leah is definitely on pace to winning an HOH soon enough. But Chelsea ends up winning the HOH. And I don't think Chelsea really wanted to win this HOA. She said she guessed on half of the questions. But I, I I mean, she must be a really good guesser because it got her the win. So congratulations to Chelsea winning her first HOH. And uh, she talks to Cam on deciding on what, who should be the nominees. And Cam suggests that Leah, Lisa, and Mackenzie should be the target. And then you can also throw in Kenny because it could be an easy person to nominate as he was nominated last week. And uh, Chelsea's wondering... Uh, if she wants to put Leah and Mackenzie up because those are people that would be a huge target and she doesn't, she might not want that smoke, you know what I'm saying? Because those people are strong competitors and could win HOH next week. While Angela is someone she's considering nominating because the house would be in agreement to put, to want to vote her out because she caused a lot of chaos. So she's either thinking about making a big move and targeting Mackenzie and Leah or doing the easy route and putting up Angela and Kenny on the block. So she wrestles with that. While she's thinking about that, Mackenzie talks to Chelsea in the HOH room and tells Chelsea that she has the America's veto power where she can take someone off the block and America can vote on who the replacement nominee is. And so now Chelsea has a lot to think about. Is she gonna use this power and wanna work with Mackenzie or is she gonna try to flush this power and uh, put Mackenzie on the block and force her to use that power? And if you ask me, there's a pros and cons with both pros with keeping Mackenzie off the block is you know you you have another ally and she won't target you and she'll she'll make herself a target and target someone else and that person can go go after Mackenzie and that leaves you away from the chaos and they can go after each other but cons is that yo what if Mackenzie makes it all the way to the end and she still has that power and uh, it gets you out somehow so you got to think about it like that but uh I think the way I think I I, I would would uh tell people about Mackenzie's power so they could they could go after Mackenzie while I stay in the background. So I would I would do both in a way where I don't directly target Mackenzie, but I, I have people do it for me, you know what I'm saying? So that's what I would do. And then uh, we see that Cedric, Cam, and uh, Chelsea, they talk about working together. They wanna bring in Quinn and um, Brooklyn to their alliance and have a five person alliance. And Brooklyn names the alliance in the kitchen and the alliance is called the Pentagon. And they have this handshake where they kind of do a little hand hug. I find that kind of funny. So, uh, yeah, the Pentagon is a is a cool name. And I think they could go far, man, as long as nobody targets each other. Brooklyn was saying how she's the fifth person. And, she, you know, she'll deal with that once once it gets to that. So is that Brooklyn saying that she's not going to let it get to that point where she is stuck in a five-person alliance and she's a fifth person? Will she try to target, you know, one of those players before final five time will tell but uh i think she should if she wants to win the game but uh, yeah so um we also see that tucker is suggesting to uh chelsea that lisa should go on the block because they don't really vibe chelsea as you know uh lisa is a chef and tucker is a chef as well and uh that's not even his main beef is because uh he's competing with 
cooking. No, the, his beef is that he just finds Lisa very annoying. Lisa likes to work out in the kitchen and uh, put glitter on people's food. Uh, the glitter is edible apparently, but I can't imagine it tasting very good. So yeah, I can understand why Tucker would find Lisa annoying. But uh, yeah, so uh, you know, uh, not much happened after that. We uh, get the nominations and Chelsea nominates Angela, Kenny, and Lisa on the block. Pretty easy nominations. She didn't want to get blood on her hands. And I agree with these nominations. You know, Mackenzie and Leah aren't coming after you, so why make an enemy out of them for no reason? Have other people target them? And, you know, he, she told Angela, basically the house wanted her to, on the block. It wasn't really her trying to go after Angela. So, you know, that's the way to do it. I don't think Angela's gonna take that too personally and realize that Je Chelsea had to do what she had to do, right? And I think Kenny's used to being on the block at this point. So let's find out who's gonna win veto. And if the veto is used, then, things will probably start to get interesting on who the replacement nominee could be. So yeah, that was basically it for this episode. Pretty dull episode compared to what we saw in the previous episodes with the whole blow up with Matt and uh, Angela. So yeah, hopefully they'll start to show some of the fights we've been seeing on live feeds because you know, those were some crazy fights and I haven't seen it and I want to see it because people were saying it was crazy. So hopefully they show that, man. But yeah, this is it. It's been TV Movie Podcast. We'll see you in the next episode. Bless up. Peace.